Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new GPU light mass in 4.27. Now, I've made videos about this in the past, but 4.27 actually has a newer version of this, and it's still in beta as far as I know, but I wanted to go ahead and test this out with my RTX A6000. So what is GPU light mass? Pretty much a uh, traditional way if you build light right here, right here, it's going to use CPU, right? But now with the GPU light mass, it's going to use your GPU power. So with that being said, to turn this on, it's pretty easy. You go to the plugins right here and I already have it turned on because it takes a while and I'm trying to save some time. Uh, turn on GPU light mass and then you turn on ray tracing as well. Go to project settings, make sure RHI is on 12 right here. Again, similar to how you would turn on ray tracing and then you go texture and you're looking for the texture virtual support right here and enable virtual texture light maps. Now this is going to make your system restart. Now be very careful here whenever you're using this. Again, I always warn people because um, you're going to see here this is unlit. Once I switch this over to lit, this is a ginormous scene. Look at this. This is how big this scene is. Once I flip this over to lit, my computer is actually going to start crapping out, but let's just see how long it takes for me to build this light with the GPU light mass. And if you want to know more about this GPU light mass, there is a new documentation for it here. So you can see, I am barely scratching the surface here. There's a lot of information, a lot of settings, but we're going to be messing around with the default for now, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and flip this over to lit. And as you can see right here, it's pretty darn laggy. And you're going to see the preview light preview text around because we have to build the lighting now traditionally like i said without gpu light mass you can build your lighting here okay build lighting and that's gonna turn on swarm and it's gonna do all that stuff and i did turn off uh the fire the height fog because i it was really slowing down so i don't even know what this is gonna look like but yeah let's go ahead and get started let's take a look and i'm gonna go ahead and build the gpu light mass right here and like i said i'm just gonna do everything i'm gonna show the progress bar so you can see Looks pretty cool. And I'm going to do everything by default so we can kind of use this as a control here. And then here you go. You're going to see we are now in the matrix. Everything. This is the progress bar pretty much showing you that the light is being built. And what's cool about it is you're actually watching it be built. Whenever you're using this in a CPU light mass or CPU build lighting, you're just going to see this building lighting and you don't see the progress. It's just going to load it up and pretty much build the light. But now you can actually walk around your scene and see the progress of your light maps. And I did not check the materials for this scene. I just really love the scene and I wanted to try it out in this one because I've seen a lot of Arcvis already uh, being used. So you might see some funkiness, but overall, I think this is working right. You can see everything on the wall is lighting. Now, traditionally, if you were to build this lighting right here, uh, I would say it would probably take a couple of hours, I would say. And But then again, that's me. I have uh, an Intel 10900K, which is a gaming CPU, because honestly, I bought this computer without Unreal Engine in mind. I was just going to play video games with this computer, Unreal Engine just really happened by accident so uh yeah right now it's building at one percent but this is really cool you can even move around here now for this to work you're gonna need your lights to be set uh with stationary right here so right now that's a movable one because that's not a light so make sure that they're stationary or static for the gpu light mass to work it's pretty cool and this is in slow mode as well. You can change the setting if you don't want it in real time. This actually saves you time as well as far as building the light. If you want to turn this off, then it'll make it a little bit faster. This is just really cool. Now, one of the cool things about this is if I'll drop a point light right here, Right, I'm gonna press G and I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit. And that's stationary there. That's actually going to calculate that additional light that I put in there. So you can see this bar kind of reset. I'm gonna turn it off. And again, this bar reset back to zero. Pretty cool. So you can really see it 
changing while it's baking. And as you can see, the building lighting again went down to one. Now, what I'll do is I'll press G high dose light. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the real time so I can show you that as well. Okay, now this is building a lot faster now. And I am recording in here as well. So it is slowing my computer down, but it's building a lot faster. Now, what I'll do is I'm gonna control shift escape. So you can kind of see this working, the GPU right here. <laughs> 100% on the RTX A6000. All right. Now, as far as I know, if I read it right, this supports multi GPU as long as you're using the NV Link. So, if let's say you were rich enough to have two RTX A6000, then you your calculation would be twice as fast. Ooh, gosh. That's some math for you. But you can kind of see that this baby is working. You know, and it's so funny because people say, that's such an overkill. <laughs> yeah, maybe for some. But if you're trying to get, you know, rendering, and again, I'm going to make a video about this. Uh, you know, if you're trying to render 4K, you know, what the highest quality possible, you're going to need, if you're trying to play like the big guys or girls, big studio if you want your stuff to look like them unfortunately hardware you know you have to be on par with what they have and that's really the just the sad part of it but you know it is what it is but look at this it is using everything on this a6000 we're at 18 percent now man this would take forever I'll tell you right now this would take six hours or so on a cpu and like i said i got an intel 10 900k so what i'll do is i'm just gonna go ahead and pause this recording and then we'll get back to it right after this is done all right so right now we're sitting at 11 minutes on building this lighting and it's 100 percent but it's encoding the texture so it's still going per se it's not finished yet so we're gonna see how long total this is finished all right, 11 minutes. That's all it took for the A6000 <laughs> to build the light using the GPU light mass. I mean, again, right? You're spending a lot of money on the A6000, but if time is really money, that's really saving you money, especially if you have more work to do. That is incredible, man. This, this would take at least six hours, even more, if your GPU crashes, depending on what it is. This GPU light mass is definitely something I'm pretty sure people are gonna be able to use. That's crazy. It just blows my mind how fast that was. 11 minutes total. That's all it took to build the light here. Bananas. But that's pretty much it. If you wanna learn more about GPU light mass, check out the documentation. They have a new one for 4.27 right here. Uh, check it out and it is still in beta right here and like i said this is this can support multiple gpu right here let's see if i can find it i saw it right here gpu with two nodes so you can have two gpus with nv link to use gpu light mass i mean wow <laughs> that would be even crazier all right so uh, before I go, make sure you check out that video I made about me giving away a motion capture suit. I'm going to be hosting my very first short film competition whenever I reach 50,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be giving away my personal motion capture suit. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5, but you don't know how. Today is your lucky day. How to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5 by JS Films. Out now.